what's up guys day one of the, sp the sprinter build we're uh, doing the floor insulation today and uh, some also some of the sound deadening panels so I was gonna bring you guys along and uh, let you see how this is gonna go step one was to remove the floor that it came with I already pulled that out I just remove all these D rings uh, that hold it in and then pull it out. You can kind of see my uh, taped out floor plan going already. Um, but I'll show you guys what I'm doing here on the insulation for the floor and the sound deadening uh, on some of the interior panels. So here we go. Um, we've got these stick on pads that are going to go on these interior panels. We've got this loud noise. Um, the factory sprinter comes with some sound deadening in it. You can tell the difference. So we're going to go ahead and the ones they missed, we're going to go ahead and uh, put it on there. So this rear panel is going to come out. So is this one. Um, putting in the uh, flare space flares. In these two locations and then this front behind the driver's seat is coming out for a window and then the door slider panel is going to be coming out as well so this panel right here will be staying and getting some sound deadening along with the roof and some other panels uh, the plan is to put a cork underlayment on the floor and then uh, some foam board, and then we'll put the factory installed floor back in to build on. Side one, all wrapped up. So I might as well use it. Just right down the middle. I think it'll probably be... I don't know. I don't know if it's going to do anything or not, honestly. But uh, why not, right? So we got the wheel wells covered. We've got the panels that we're going to be leaving in. We got those covered and then we went ahead and just went right down the middle. So all that was two boxes. So it goes pretty far and it's not very expensive. So why not? Alright guys, we've got the cork underlayment, floor underlayment down now. Uh, out of the van we've got the factory floor. And I'm getting ready to cut the foam board to match that. 
and uh, put it in next. So that's where I'll pick you up. So these sheets come 40 inches wide. And I'm cutting it down to 20. And it's fitting in these. What is that? One, two, three, fourth rib, fifth rib, sixth rib, seventh rib, probably the last one will fit the 20. And then uh, the first few are smaller but gradually get bigger. I think the first one's like 17, and then there's a 14. But anyway, so this stuff's cool. Just pull off the adhesive back. And when I get to this side, just trim it, cut it blank. come back with my roller make sure it's stuck to the ceiling real well and then for now I'm just hanging on to these drops so I can use them later somewhere else because I think they'll be useful all right so the ceiling. We're going to finish that off with foam board and then the Reflectix for a vapor barrier and we'll seal that up with the tape. Um, I like the way it's going. It's coming along nicely I think. I'm about I'd say I've got about five hours in it so far. Um, that's not bad. I feel like we're getting pretty full, far along. The Havelock insulation, the wool, will be here this week as well. So, I'm thinking by the end of this weekend, I'll have this thing fully insulated and uh, sealed up with the Reflectix and the Vapor Barrier. And, uh, be ready to start doing the electrical pulling wires and uh, getting the battery bank set up so we'll see I like it what's up guys another day working on the van uh, just got some snow and ice the other day and it's starting to melt and go away so that'll be nice warm up a little bit let me show you what we got going on out here today insulation's coming along the havelock wool's going in this side's just about done i've got to still do the sliding door down there be working on this wall getting the wool in yesterday if you can see down there, we got one of the windows installed. I didn't film any of that, but uh, I'm going to film today. Putting in that slider door down there. Putting in the window for the slider door. And I'll kind of walk you guys through how that all goes in and how easy it is. Okay, so I've got... The Reflectix up covering up the uh, wool insulation and I've got it masked off right now because I'm spraying this stuff right now the 3m high strength adhesive 
and I'm spraying that up on the ceiling and then spraying it on the uh, wool insulation so it'll stick and hang from the ceiling. And then I'm gonna come back over it with the Reflectix to uh, seal that off and that will finish the insulation uh, on the van. I've gone ahead and put up the furring strips on the ceiling that I'm gonna be using for the um, tongue and groove or the shiplap on the ceiling. I haven't decided which one yet. Uh, I've got the fan all installed. Um, air conditioning, I'm gonna put it in tomorrow. And I think that's about it. Get you guys caught up to where I'm at. Both windows are in, fans in, AC's going in, and insulation is just about done. Hope you enjoyed this part of the van build series. We'll have more videos coming shortly showing progress on the rest of the build. If you enjoy this, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos with this type of content. I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.